Bring your images to life with Parallax Effect. All you need is a front picture, middle picture and a background. I will leave you all my files in the link in the description so you can practice at home. So first we need to make the cutout of the pictures. I use Photoshop but don't worry if you don't have it. You can use Photopea instead which is free and the process is almost identical. Ok, I imported this picture to Photoshop and we will check the image size and create a new file with the same size as this picture which is 2944 by 1664. And make sure you select the transparent background. Then go back to original picture, select quick selection tool, select the layer and mark the tent the mountaineer and a part of the snow. When you are done, select the move tool and drag this part to transparent background. Then just save it as PNG. Then go back and click deselect. Now we need to clear this part where the tent and the person is, so we choose rectangular marquee tool and mark this place. Then click generative fill and generate. We need to get blank space here because we will use this picture as a middle layer. Save it as PNG and open it one more time. Select quick selection tool and mark everything except the sky. Then drag it to the transparent background and save it as PNG again. Then import everything to CapCut and drag the sky first to the timeline. You can find the pink cloud sky on pexels.com or pixabay. Choose the 16 by 9 ratio and stretch it so it covers the whole screen. Then drag down the middle layer with mountains and lastly the mountaineer. Highlight the sky and adjust the color so it blends more with the mountains. Do the same with mountains and mountaineer. Now highlight the sky again, go to video and click keyframe on transform. Then move your playhead to the end and increase the size of the sky and pull it up a little because you want that moving clouds effect. Go to the beginning, highlight the middle layer, click on keyframe on transform, move to the end and because the mountains are really far away from the person we will increase them only by 3%. Go to the beginning again, highlight the mountaineer, click keyframe move playhead to the end and we will increase this part the most because it is closest to the camera. To spice it even more I will drag down also the snow particles which are found on freepeak.com and it's gonna be a nice touch because we have a winter scenery here. Then go to blend and choose screen option. Click keyframe on scale, move to the end and increase the scale to almost 300. We also need some fog. You can import any white or light grade picture. Then go up to video, mask and choose circle. Adjust its size and position and pull the feather up like this. When you're happy, drag it under the mountaineer layer. Here is the end result. So this is how you do a parallax effect in CapCut. Don't forget to like and see you in the next one.